Play fake, Watson rolling to his right, being chased by Key. Al Shire will get there and take him down for a loss. That's a great play by Al Shire tracking that quarterback down who's still got some wheels that can move. That was a great play by Al Shire. Aziz, you were brought here to do a lot of different things on defense on the field, but you were also brought here to be kind of a leader and a mentor to a lot of guys in the locker room. Is that a role that you really embraced and made coming to the Titans a little bit more appealing maybe? A hundred percent. Like for me, coming into the league, I had guys that I was able to, you know, kind of lean on and look up to. I always just tried to kind of, you know, pay it forward. So regardless of who I'm around, what position group it is, like just try to, you know, give that, that wisdom that I know and I've learned, you know, to whoever is around me. So I guess definitely a part of why I came here, just the opportunity to kind of just be myself and kind of take on a bigger role. Um, but yeah, it's kind of always who I've been. Throughout your life, I'm sure you've had a lot of mentors. Who are some of those people? My mother, just how she attacked every single day, you know, being homeless, going through the things we went through, having to raise eight kids. Um, I think she, she would never see like her without a smile on her face. Another person I would probably say, my grandfather, same thing, like always happy, always positive. He was a poet, so he always would tell me like different poems and things like that. Um, he always like gave me confidence to believe in myself. You grew up in a big family, a lot of kids, and I know that you were a vital part in raising some of those kids even. Having those interactions with your siblings, being put in those positions at such an early age, does that maybe influence the way that you interact with your teammates now? A hundred percent. I think it's just the perspectives that you get. I think it definitely allows me just to be able to relate with all the guys and understand that everybody is different because even for my little brothers, you know, it was two of them that I was raising in college, but they were literally like, grew up in the same household, everything, but two completely different people. You know, I got seven other siblings, there was eight of us, and all eight of us think eight completely different ways. So I think one thing that I learned just through those experiences was that every person is, is individual. Raising and going through things I went through really allowed me to just be able to kind of like judge each person differently and kind of reach each person in a different way. Overcoming all of that adversity, it's got to give you a great perspective on what it is you're involved in right now in the National Football League. But there's also a level of levity. This is a game we're having fun, right? That perspective has got to be helpful when managing the highs and lows of the season. All the practices, all the meetings, all the things that we have to do to play 17 games. So there's literally 17 days in this entire year of all the training, everything that you're doing, off-season training, 17 opportunities. When you understand that, that's good because now it kickstarts that, that I sound like a little fire under there, but like get them going. But now you realize like in that same instant, you're playing in these games that people only wish they could do. Like that's like when I revert back to me as a child, I, I would watch games and I just like would envision myself being in the NFL, like wanting to play at that level and like, to actually be here and know that one day it's going to end, you know, but right now I'm in, the, I'm in it and I'm enjoying it. And I think that's what allows you to like embrace like this game, like you said at the end of the day. So.